There is a path to greater power and greater glory. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the path of spiritual men. If you see anyone today, dead or alive, that is doing much for the kingdom with authenticity and truth, there is no escaping that class. God must vet your desires, probe your desires, purge your desires, circumcise your heart until all that is left is Christ. For some of us, the idol in your heart is ministry. You can throw God away to have ministry. Unfortunately, you will not get it that way. It is a loser's path. Until God breaks that obsession for ministry and replaces it with an obsession for Him, that is when you will do ministry. There are others, the path is money. You love Jesus, but this, your appetite for money, you can stop prayer for money. You can stop anything for money. You can tell lies for money, although you are a child of God. You don't like what you're hearing. <laughs> Let me tell you this. The generation that refuses to die is a generation that will remain powerless. 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 Void of glory. Void of glory. Void of glory. You cannot be able to do much for the kingdom that way. Hallelujah. I remember many years ago, I used to see visions of these things. I even used to announce it then in Koinonia in Zaria. Sometimes when I, I'm done with my retreat, I now see, you know how you decorate a military man? That's what I see in the vision. And then maybe something else, a star or a badge. And then I just come back from that retreat and it's another level of light. It's another level of power. And then a time came, the visions began to change. I didn't see that, mil that military man uniform again. I started seeing garments. I mean, just like, you know how you throw a fishing net? They just throw it on you. And it just wraps by itself. You don't try to wear it. It wears itself into you. It's like it was designed for your shape. Without missing an inch. It's like the garment enters into you. And all you see is light. And you come out from that realm of glory. You will do wonders. And yet there are other dimensions. There is a dimension where it's not only light you will see. It's fire. There are cloaks of fire. The Bible says he maketh his angels wings. Is it not in your Bible? And his ministers flames. You think he just sets them on fire? It's a garment that you wear. Flames of fire. Flames of fire. These are the dimensions that men like Maurice Sorulo got to. That occultic people and demon spirits say they fear the prayers of men like Maurice Sorulo. That these guys will utter prayers with the simplicity. It was not in what they were saying. It's in the realm they were praying from and speaking from. Listen to me. Koinonia, hear me. I am a strong advocate of living a balanced Christian life. I am a strong advocate of prospering while you serve God, excelling while you serve God, advancing while you serve God. But as far as tonight's teaching is concerned, I am telling you, if there is any pursuit that is nobler, higher, greater than your desire to see Jesus revealed, then you are not yet a spiritual man. You can check yourself and know by this index of your affection. Many years ago, the Lord asked me a question. And he said, son, can you die for me? I honestly thought about it. Sincerely. And I said, no. 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 I can suffer for you. I was already suffering for him. He said, no, I can suffer for you. I can be misunderstood for you. I can do whatever for you. But death, Kai. I know some of you will say yes. But I said, no. Honestly, I searched my heart. And I said, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm ready. And then he did something to my heart. I don't know what he did though. But it's like, a, it's like something. You know how you remove something from a man. That makes you half man and half something else. It is at that point you will see weights of glory. You will see things that others are looking for. And God carries it and brings it to your life. You know why? Because the string that connects you to things have been broken. The string that connects you to money, titles, and all of this has been broken. At that point, God is not restrained to trust you with things. 
material things, spiritual things, because he knows that whether they are with you is the same thing as being with him. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing you a very big secret tonight. Many people do not know the true path of power. Praying and fasting only comes as a subset, a means to achieve this goal. If this goal is not your drive to dethrone things, you can be engaged in a lot of sincere spiritual activities, but they will fail to deliver. Are we together? Everybody say your affection. This is one of the things that Satan loves. To plant desires within your heart. Desires that grow to become a tree that is greater than Christ. So you love Jesus. You love church. But your real concern is money. Your real concern is other things. Jesus is just saying, well, at least I'm sympathetic to the idea, Jesus. We're going to take a minute to cry before I give you the remaining. You're going to cry from the depth of your heart. Father, everything I have enthroned that is above you in my life, everything I have enthroned that is above you in my life, everything I have enthroned that is above you in my life, let it die tonight. Let it die tonight. Let it die. Let it be dethroned. Christ be lifted. Be the epicenter. The ultimate pursuit. The highest priority. Go ahead and pray. The spiritual man following the pathway of your affections circumcised your desires circumcised to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is light and peace your heart my son give me your heart not your offering give me your heart not your titles give me your heart not your plans not just your goals i want your heart when i find your heart take a minute to pray Oh, send death, death walks in us, that life may walk in you. Death walks in us, that life may walk in you. A garment of greater glory, a garment of greater glory. In the name of Jesus, a garment of greater glory. In Jesus name we pray In Jesus name we pray So the first feature Please sit down Please sit down The first feature Of a true spiritual man Is seen In your affection Your heart The Bible says Where your treasure is That is also where your heart will be I can know what you treasure by looking at where your heart looks at. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be. Hallelujah. I've prayed and cried before God that may ne nothing at all ever stand the place of my love and passion for Him. You've heard me say it. I will close Koinonia a thousand times. If he demands it a thousand times, if he demands it, and I'm not saying it is not just a preacher's politics, a thousand times. I love what he's assigned me to do, but not at the expense of my love for him, not at the expense of my relationship with him. I'd rather be considered a failure by men. And win with my relationship with Jesus. I am satisfied. Some of you would rather fail with Jesus a thousand times. And have the form of success in the eyes of men.
Are you learning? Maybe a man of God is watching and you are wondering why grace and power does not flow in your life. You are wondering what is restraining the hand of God from making this investment. I'm showing you the key. It is not that you are a bad person. It's that there are idols. And Dagon needs to fall tonight. Fall. Dagon. <laughs> Ambitions. Because you see, if those idols remain, and the anointing comes upon your heart. It is that very anointing that will kill you. Because the anointing fights everything that is not God. And if you pile idols in your heart and want that oil to be poured upon it. You are only doing yourself a disservice. Hallelujah. That's what spiritual circumcision is. The removal of something that matters to you. Now let me tell you this most people think when you give jesus everything you become a failure in life and it means those plans that you laid down for him never comes to pass no that is even how they come to pass more efficiently i do not know anyone who laid down anything genuinely and did not pick it back up again in glory once his place is there then every other thing can find value in your life the money you are trying to look for that is distracting your passion and your appetite for him i can tell you this you can learn all the laws you can learn but when you follow his way you will find him but with it you will find glory in a way you never imagined in a proportion you never imagined you can be looking for power as an idol looking for power outside of jesus why do you want power because you were told that once you have power ministry works well once you have power crowds will come once you have power you will be famous once you have power invitations will come do you know you can look for power as an idol and so because you were told that prayer and fasting produces power oh yeah you are praying you are fasting but it's from a standpoint of idolatry when jesus comes you say go back it's not you i'm fasting for i'm fasting for power send power and you go back let's hurry up so the first feature of a spiritual man is your affection your heart number two what is the second feature of a spiritual man your mentality the bible calls it being spiritually minded the second feature of a spiritual man is that you have a mentality a mentality that is spiritual a mentality that is spiritual romans 8 6 to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace a mentality that is spiritual your first response to life your first response to things is from a spiritual standpoint spiritually minded spiritually minded you see life as god sees it are we together now this is very important. Number three, let me hurry up. Spiritually minded. Well, let me just say one or two things about being spiritually minded. I hope you know that being spiritually minded is a product of word-based transformation. Write that down, please. In fact, put it this way, to be spiritually minded through word based transformation there are various templates for adopting mindsets the mindsets that makes a man spiritually minded must be word based word based transformation secular enlightenment is a form of enlightenment but it does not necessarily produce spirituality witchcraft is a form of enlightenment 
but it does not necessarily produce true spirituality. I hope you know being a spiritual man does not mean being a spirit. Are we together now? Yes. It doesn't mean being superstitious. It doesn't even mean being demonic. Word based transformation. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. Write that down. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. And that from a child, thou hast known the holy scripture, which is able to make you wise unto salvation, and so on and so forth. And now, brethren, Acts 20, 32, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them which are sanctified, spiritually minded spiritually minded your first response to things is from the word of god your first response to life is from the word of god you have become a spiritual man you have submitted to the word of god it has influenced your thinking it is the basis for your decisions it is the basis for your arguments it is the basis for your activity that everything in your life has been engineered to be word compliant the way you respond as the word of God demands. The way you give as the word of God demands. Are we together now? Your first response to life. Now look up please. When you become a spiritual man. You will not say things like I have my church mind. And then I have the other one. Or I will remove this church thing and beat you. You see that, that thing. And then I will come back again. You are not spiritual. Because spirituality has nothing to do with which day of the week sunday wednesday it has nothing to do with whether you are in church or you are in the office you have submitted to the word of god to gain supremacy over your thinking listen the bible says to be spiritually minded is a pathway that leads to life and leads to peace So how does a spiritual man behave when you are in trouble? Don't guess. What does the word of God say? Call upon me in the day of trouble. That means a spiritual man, your first response, anytime things are unfavorable, is prayer. Are we together? It is foolish to take actions when you have not prayed. You will most likely act in the flesh. Oh, just to let you know that tomorrow you are going to lose your job. How does a spiritual man act? The Bible says to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. You don't look at your superior to his face and say, God punish you. It will not be well with you. I reject that statement. No, 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 no. You are not acting in wisdom. If you submit to the word of God, he tells you, let every man be subject to higher powers. So even if you don't believe what they are saying, you block your heart from receiving that negative prophecy. But you don't insult them. You go back to your secret place and say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I am the head and not the tail. You don't shout that on the face of your director. Even if it's me, I'll fire you. Spiritual men. There is wisdom in spirituality. Are we together? All of a sudden you hear a report. Ah, it looks like something is forming or growing in your body that has a name you don't like. Hey, so it has finally come to me. No, no, no. I know this sounds funny, but let me tell you this. A spiritual man understands that you are a king and you are a priest. And that your words carry power. You will not speak nonsense and then forgive yourself later on. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. The Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is missing. I decree and declare that cancer has no place in this body. I decree and declare that I live and not die. I live and not die. I live and not die. I speak life. I've been given the power to choose. And I make use of my will. I choose life spiritual man spiritual man spiritual man most believers have not submitted to the transforming power of the spirit 
Are we together? You see, when it has to do with transformation, you don't choose the verses you like and believe them. You submit yourself to the whole counsel of God that gives you wisdom. The reason why many believers' transformation looks like foolishness is that they select a few parts that they like. Are we together? Then the parts they have not received now cancels out on the wisdom of what they have. When you want to be transformed, don't do selective transformation. Do wholesome transformation. Selective transformation means I like this truth. No matter how uncomfortable it is, if it is backed up by the integrity of God's word and will make for your profiting, you must embrace it. Who is learning? There are many, many believers whose transformation is selective. Is the reason why they are not able to manifest the Christ life and to manifest spirituality in power. Wholesome transformation. There is seed that scattered and yet increases. There is seed that withholded more than its meat and tends to poverty. I obtain grace to obey scripture. No debate, no argument. In the name of Jesus, I obtain the giving grace. And I receive understanding to know more about it. So that my action will be based on conviction and understanding. A spiritual man. When men say there is a casting down, the Bible says for you, you will say that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I wake up this morning and I declare there is a lifting up. Even though things are not yet the way it should be, I still declare that I, there is a lifting up. Spiritual man. Who is learning? So you must be spiritually minded. There are things I do not believe can happen to me. Honestly. It is not pride. I don't believe it. For instance, that someone will take my name to a harbor list and it will actually work. Maybe you believe it, but me, I don't believe it. Unfortunately. No, it won't work. And it has nothing to do with being a man of God. Hallelujah. You've had, I, I first feel sorry for both the person and the harbor list. Honestly, I really feel sorry for the person. And the reason for feeling sorry is because of the kind of God that will answer them. Are we together? I believe as a person that no man can kill me before my time. I believe it. Now, it's, it's, it's left for you to choose what to believe. But this is what I believe. I believe that I will never struggle financially as I serve the purposes of God. No. Because he's placed too much in my life to be valuable. And I understand the law of value. Are we together now? That rewards follow value. And if what I am giving is value indeed, then God's faithfulness will keep his law to be at work. This is what I believe. I believe that everybody cannot hate me. Why? Because everybody did not hate Jesus. And everybody does not hate Satan. And so my focus is on those, the few that God can put together. One man who likes you can make the world of difference. And so in prayer, praying for a destiny helper, I need not worry about who doesn't like you. Who, no, 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 no. The person ordained by God to like you enough to invest in your destiny is all you need to rise. Are we together? I believe there are arrows that fly by day. But I also believe that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous can come into it and he is safe. Spiritually minded. Spiritually minded. That in famine I will laugh. I believe it. It's a mentality. I believe that God will keep adding every day and every week to koinonia as many as should be saved. Koinonia will never have a better yesterday. This is what I believe. Because the path of the just is as a shining light. Who believes what I'm teaching you? Honestly, this is what I believe. I believe there is no nation God sends me to that will reject me. No. I truly believe. Because there are witnesses who love God in that nation. And he told the apostle, he said, don't be afraid. I have many people there. There are 8.2 billion people on earth. There are enough people to honor the word of the Lord upon your life. The question is, what do you believe about yourself? To be spiritual 
means to be word compliant. Man shall not live by bread alone. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The word of the Lord is powerful. The word of the Lord is mighty. The word of the Lord has strength. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. That word has been spoken to us today via God's servant through his word, through the word of God, which has come with power and light. The light shines among men and men and darkness actually could not comprehend that light um, because you are a witness just as Christ has made us witnesses. We believe that this video today has transformed your life. Watching this video today, we believe that you are set for a mighty encounter and God is you do great and mighty thing in your life. If you have subscribed to our channel before, we thank you and we appreciate you by staying tuned to the end of this video. But if you have not subscribed, please do so and subscribe to this um, channel, Connect, see Connect. And if you have not shared the video, please share to your loved ones so that them too can be blessed just as you are blessed today. And if you have not comment, you can tell us your intentions in the comment section. Click on the notification bell so that you can get daily uploads of our video on a daily basis and we believe that God will do wonders in your life in the name of Jesus. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. We love and celebrate you. Hallelujah.